He is called a nightmare neighbor. Residents say junk has been piling up like dishwashers, a semi truck all in the front yard next to them. For some in the Inez neighborhood, they don't know when this ordeal will be over. News 13's Natalie Wanda spoke with neighbors about their concerns. The president of the Neighborhood Association tells me they've tried to combat the eyesore from every avenue they can through the city. And even though an end may be in sight, it's been years since residents there have had a clear view. My husband walks every morning, he, every single morning, and he'd come and tell me, you know, every day there's more and more things there. He had tractors, he had old cars, uh, porta potties, uh, I mean, all kinds of things, front, back, side, everywhere. He's doing illegal outdoor storage up to the rooftop in the front of his house, up to the rooftop on the side of his house, and beyond a nine-foot fence in his backyard. And there have been cases, Maya says, where the stuff has actually spilled out onto the street and sidewalk. And one of the neighbors, um, for a lot of junk that he had on the sidewalk, uh, injured his toe, broke his foot. She says neighbors are constantly reaching out to the neighborhood association with their concerns. When is this going to be cleaned up? What's happening? Why do we have to tolerate this? Um, there is tremendous frustration and impatience. Maya says they've been working with the city, zoning, and even police to try to get things cleaned up. There have been sort of monthly hearings um, in court, in Metro Court, with a judge who has been quite lenient with um, the, this fellow, whose name is Patrick, in giving him more and more time to clean it up and more opportunities to do the right thing, none of which he has done. Neighbors facing decreasing property values say they don't want him, Patrick Wallentine, to get any more chances. And they can't stand looking at it anymore, and they're getting very impatient and upset, but we keep telling them that the wheels of government grind slowly, but they are grinding. The city doesn't either. It had struck a deal with Wallentine to clean up the mess, which they say he has ignored. There is a hearing later this month where the city is asking a judge to throw out that agreement. Back to you. All right, thank you, Natalie. If the judge throws out the agreement, then the case would move forward to a trial and a judge could enforce Wallentine to clean up his property. No trial date has been set yet. Wallentine lives at the home but does not own it.